So I am doing my project at Wheelban Creek Park. So this species of plant here is called the bird fetch. Um, in Carl Linus's taxonomy naming, it is the visua caca. This plant is widely found in North America. Um, it is a great source of nectar for birds, butterflies, and moths. Nice and purple. Um, cows graze on it a lot. It is also called the cow fetch sometimes. It's a common name. Okay, so I have the Vigia croca. In other words, Bird fetch uh, can also be found in the same family as peas and legumes. Okay, so that's the white cabbage butterfly. Its class is Insecta, order is Lapolidura, genus is Purus, phylum is Arthropoda, and kingdom is Animalia, and its species is a P. brassicae. Here we have a mallard duck. Its family is Antidea. Phylum is Chordata, and the kingdom is Animalia. They are a local species here in BC. Here is a mother with some of her little duckies playing in the swamp river that we were walking through in Wilbent Creek. So this is just like a little information um, stop that I saw Creek on the way through the trail. I just thought it was kind of cool. It shows you all the different birds that we have here in the park. So here we have a small cottontail rabbit. Um, its family is Leprodae, its order is Legomorpha, phylum is Chordata, and kingdom is Animalia. This one got quite spooked as we got close to it, so it was a little bit hard to record. I tried to get a better view from when we're far, but you'll notice as soon as he gets spooked, he <laughs> starts to run. But they're quite small and have the little white tails. Okay, so here we have a small little maple tree. Its kingdom is Plantae, order is Ben and Dales, and uh, family is Sapindaceae. Okay, so this is a rose spira. Its scientific name is Spira Douglasi. Its kingdom is Plantae. Its family is Rosaceae. So it is a type of rose plant. Okay, so here we have actually a poisonous plant here in BC. So if you were to eat this, you would definitely not start to feel well. This is called the red baneberry. Uh, you can tell it's a baneberry by the black dots it has developing. It is a native wildflower that grows here in the summer. So the baneberry is a part of the buttercup family. It is uh, one of the three species in the genus Acatae. Baneberry found within um, British Columbia. There are two other kinds, a white baneberry and a lowest baneberry. Okay, so here we just have this little trail. I thought it was going to go to something a little bit cooler than what it did, but it didn't. So I ended up going only to this point and deciding to turn around. It was a dead end to like the swampy area. And then from here on, I have um, this really cool tree I thought was cool, but you can tell it has a gate from what the beavers did to this tree here. So there is a lot of beavers in this area. They do take trees for their dams. And here is a bird just on the tree. I just thought it was really pretty and looked really nice here. This is a really nice trail and it is a bird sanctuary here. So there is quite a number of different birds that you will see. It was actually a beautiful day out. So not too hot, not too cold. It's a really nice day for us to get outside and go on the walk. Okay, so here we have a damselfly, a nice bright blue one. Don't mind my videotaping, it's very hard to get an exact photo on these guys. And don't mind me butchering the names of trying to say all the different phylums and everything. So this one is in the kingdom Animalia. Its phylum is Arthropoda. Its order is Odonte. And its scientific name is Zecopotera. <laughs> So as you can tell, the damselflies are quite bright in color. They're very pretty. They look just like a dragonfly, but they are a bit different. They're smaller um, and they are great flying insects that help control um, other insects and pests in the area. They do eat mosquitoes and things like that, but they do have a smaller and slimmer body compared to um, the bigger dragonflies that you see buzzing around. There is quite a lot of these on the water there. Um, you can see in the bushes and on the wheat plants, they do like to sit there and, and gather. And there was lots of skeletons so you can tell that they've been shedding and breeding.
Again, I just wanted to take some recordings of the park itself to bring all the beauty in and be able to show you all the different aspects of the park. Um, it's a beautiful little spot close to my house, so it's a very nice place to go. Okay, so here I just kind of took a video of all the wheatgrass that's growing in the area. Um, we are in a dar like darshy and like um, swampy kind of area, so it does grow um, quite in variety here. Here's a little mole hole that we found. I know there's probably a mole living down there somewhere. They're everywhere around here. Um, they're quite cute. They got tiny little faces and scrunchy noses and big hands. Um, these were these very pretty white flowers. I saw they smelled great and the damselflies were all over them buzzing around They did have a quite perfumey vanilla smell on them. I couldn't quite figure what they were upon my googling and searching Okay, so here we have a curly dock. It is a weed that grows here in BC and is quite nice actually, but um, its scientific name is Arumax crupus family is the Polygonaceae, if I'm saying that right, order is Caryophyllus, and the kingdom of, is of course um, Plantae. So here we have a common black crow, also known as a Corvus. Family is Corvidae, scientific name is Corvus, um, its order is Passiformis, and the kingdom is of course Animalia. They are a close relative to the common raven. They are a species that is quite prevalent here in BC. Uh, here's an edible berry that I found on our way out. You can tell it's very squishy and looks very much like a blueberry. Um, I thought it was really cool. So they also have the name of uh, Billberry. That's what um, a lot of locals call them. Not adding this one important part of my project. I just thought it was pretty cool on the way out that we could see this. Okay. Well, thank you.